Hi everyone, it is June 5, 2019. I have never seen anything like this before. We've entered a new era, and it's called I Have Never Seen Anything Like This Before. Never seen anything like it. What the hell is going on? Well, what we have here is manufactured severe storms, uh, all of the red that indicates severe storms and it erupts uh, because well take a look at my video that I posted earlier take a look at the radar where did this come from I don't know they created it but have you ever seen storms um, at Missouri and Ohio and Illinois and Indiana and Kentucky move down south it's moving down south. I haven't, and I've never seen extremely low frequencies pulsing with such power that the whole thing is literally pulsing severe storms. Something is happening, and you guys, no matter where you are, I hope that you are prepared for anything because weather is out of control and I wonder if it is even out of control of the controllers that it was put into artificial intelligence's, intelligence's hand and now we are seeing something that I've never seen before. Um, where did all of this come from? This storm that I had on my, I'll show it to you. So I'm not entirely sure when I posted this, but it was earlier today. And, you know, this is all that you saw in this area. That's it. Nothing was happening out here. Um, they were giving, you know, northwest Texas, central west Texas a break. No storms erupting. Um, but, you know, they were doing their thing, Oklahoma. Look at how these storms just erupt out of nowhere, okay? That, that really should beg questions in a whole lot of minds. This is not how Mother Nature works. What we are seeing is man controlling weather with the technology that man has to control weather and um, no these storms were just the storms were on their way east so they were claiming that Ohio was going to get hit and I was like okay well they're creating this Maybe they'll blast away to make these bigger, but this was the forecasted storm. The south central United States was going to be seeing an awful lot of rain. So now it looks like this. You see these frequencies? All right, look, we all know weather is manufactured today. But I have to say, if the controllers are controlling this, they are out of control. Um, or they know the condition of the American people. And it doesn't matter now. It doesn't matter. You know, they're purging truth, will be gone, and they can do whatever the hell they want to do. But these extremely low frequencies, blasting away, powerful, very powerful. I want to ask you guys, how are you feeling? Because I have to tell you, 
for the last few days, I have been feeling so off. Um, only getting worse like every single day. <clears throat> Functioning. <laughs> uh, it's but just the that pressure in the brain, the brain fog, the um, off balance. I'd really like to hear from you guys because, you know, I'm I'm really, I'm so unbelievably fed up with my health being controlled by somebody else. The cat's health, you know, I don't know what's happening with so many cats. They're sneezing away, um, congested, and well, that started after I saw Mr. Exterminator out spraying all the crap on the grass, on the trees. What the hell is going on? Well, I'll show you what I collected. There's so much though, I can't collect it all. But I have to tell you, I have never seen anything like this before. So the frequencies are very powerful and they are literally pushing this front in a southerly direction. This is just evaporating at the Arkansas or the Missouri border. Goes no higher and it's just evaporated. Um, we do have our laser shots here in Nevada. Different location tonight. But these blips of what indicates severe storms all over. All over. This has been hanging out for, oh God, I don't know, an hour. This, these bands of precipitation right here on the west coast. You know, and look at that nice square of precipitation that occurs right at the tail end, right up here. Look at this. You're kidding me. All right. You know, um, we're, we're, we're in trouble. We are real. This is... They're bringing on storms all over, which means that you have to be prepared for anything. Anything. Doesn't matter if you're not in a flood zone. Doesn't matter if you're not in Tornado Alley. You know, what we have seen this year is so unprecedented that everybody should be shocked and asking questions. What the hell is going on? That we are seeing rain that never ever ends, creates flooding everywhere, hail the size of golf balls, baseballs, damaging cars, winds that are coming with these storms that are blowing roofs off the top of homes. What is going on? Do you hear that from anybody? No. No. All right. You know, wow, man. Midwest, brace for another week of flooding. Another week of flooding. Missouri, flooding homeowners forced to evacuate. Great. Uh, these are all uh, today. Some within the last hour. What is this? Police. Multiple reports of significant flash flooding. Where? Fort Smith. In my videos, I showed you Fort Smith twice because homes were literally um, the flooding was pretty much all of Fort Smith. Guess what? Now you have more flooding. Flash flooding. Arkansas. Fort Smith. Um, 
all of Louisiana prepare for flooding. All of Louisiana prepare for flooding. No kidding. Louisiana officials are warning everyone to get ready for potential flooding rains the rest of this week. The Governor's Office of Homeland Security and Emergency Preparedness urges everyone to prepare for heavy rainfall in portions of the state already dealing with elevated river levels. You're, you, this is, they're bringing it on. They're bringing it on, man. I've never, ever seen anything like it. And hurricane season is here. And some of the rains expected this week are associated with a tropical disturbance. All right, here. Uh, not for broadcast, but where is this? This is Kendleton, Texas. Yep, flash flooding. We don't have just rain anymore. What we have is nonstop rain in areas or flash flooding that occurs over and over and over again, flooding out streets flooding out homes. This is, this really should be questioned by everyone. What the hell is going on? You know, I, look, the climate change, that's all they talk about. It's all over. Climate change, climate change, climate change. And it's um, not climate change, okay? This, the climate would be changing incrementally. This is man, man causing the flooding. Why would man do that, Carol? Because you're at war. Because they're destroying you. Because this is, uh, they're using weather as a weapon. It's called unconventional warfare to fool you into believing that, oh, it's climate change. They're reshaping the United States for the United Nations Agenda 2030. Please do some research. No, we're not crazy. You're crazy if you're not doing the research. Flash flooding. Tulsa. Oh, great. And that goes on until 1 a.m. 1 a.m. Flash flooding is expected to begin shortly. You're going to get one to three inches of rain in Tulsa, where you have already been experiencing a whole lot of flooding. And it's in all of these, all of these cities and towns. And additional rainfall amounts of up to one inch are possible in the warned areas. Turn around, don't drown. Turn around, don't drown. St. Louis, up until 11.15 tonight. Flash flooding may persist over the next few hours. Locations, right here. Um, Louisville, that goes to 10 o'clock tonight. Severe thunderstorm warning. Expect damage to roofs, siding, and trees in all of these areas. <clears throat> 75, well, close to an inch. Um, hail, winds up to 60 miles per hour. I would bookmark this site, National Weather Service. Um, you know, it's it might be okay. This is what I want you to create, guys. <laughs> um, but here, look at what you do is click on this area. That is, uh, you'll get your your forecast, uh, Louisville, and you've got severe thunderstorm watch in all of these areas, flash flood warnings in this area, and flood warnings in this area, or flood advisory. Isn't that the same color? It looks like it. Um, th this is really we are living something so unprecedented. Here, look at this. This area of California, and this is for today, by the or, well, 1.52 UTC time. So, um, it's June 6th. 
Come on. Fire weather watch. Reading all the way down to I can't see that, um, but further down south of Sacramento. Here, Reading, down to Turlock, San Jose. Yes, your fire watch. And you have special weather. A special weather statement, or no, that's this color, hazardous weather outlook. And then you can click on the actual town and get the forecast. Uh, boy, man. And yes, of course, you know, you have all of the frequency signatures in all of these storms. Um, Severe thunderstorm warning. This is severe weather statement. Heavy rain continues along portions of the Gulf Coast through this week. Areas of severe storms. My God, you know, wow. We were supposed to get rain today. And we didn't. You know, uh, um, New Orleans, flash flood watches, this entire area. Flood warnings, this entire area. I will link below to this. So if you live in any of these areas, just click on the link below and get the details. But what we are seeing, we have never seen before. Why? Because they are using weather as a weapon. It's storms leave down trees, power lines east of Quad City. Quad City, 70 mile per hour winds. Iowa, Illinois, uh, at 1035 p.m. That's when damage <clears throat> excuse me, reportedly started happening around this area. Storms caused property damage around the Quad City. Oh wait, this was two weeks ago. Oh, but this is today, right. So now severe weather is just, this is what we get, repeatedly. No more, just, <laughs> oh my god. I don't know. This is just not a world that, I don't know how to make any sense of anything anymore. Storms, heavy rains leave Chicago streets flooded, of course. Hey, good morning to you, Amy. Yeah, so we're still on Lakeshore Drive hanging out. We're actually um, heading north on Lakeshore Drive right now. As you can see, it doesn't look bad. At a drive, another car, which looks like a Mini Cooper, stranded under the viaduct. This is what we see over and over and over again. Why are people asking questions? Severe storms expected across much of central and eastern Missouri this evening. A dust storm in Texas. Where was this? Uh, Big Spring? Big Spring, Texas? A dust storm. Really? I want to hear from you guys. What's happening? What's happening in these areas? The 
because you know what? I think it's a lot worse. I think it's a lot worse than, you know, the information that I've gathered throughout the months. I really do. I, I, I want you to listen to this guy. This is in California in the early, early afternoon. afternoon. Again, things have changed dramatically in the Cuyama area. We do have that storm that's still out toward the Big Pine area, but uh, really the Cuyama area not having to deal with what they dealt with a few hours ago, and that was really heavy rainfall falling in the mountains just off to the south of town. 2.2 inches of rain on the Doppler estimate. Still flash flood watch through eight, but I suspect we're gonna drop this because the activity, the only activity was this cell out by Cuyama. There was an aerial flood advisory. They dropped that as well because that system really kind of fell apart. And again, you can see it just pop up here. Boom, delivered by the- Boom, look at it just pop up there. And and then it just fell apart. Boom! Yeah, that's how forecasts go today. Mr. Meteorologist, are you kidding me? And boom! It just pops up. Well, what are we seeing? Boom! Pop-ups. Pop-up weather now. We have pop-up weather. Boom. God. Well, there's so much more. But I want to rely on you guys. Tell me what's happening and what is happening here. Central. Um. Indiana. This is Ohio. Illinois. What's happening in Kentucky? Uh, Missouri. How are you feeling? Because we are seeing these very dangerous frequencies being used 24 7. Now it looks like a lot of the storms are really uh, just well falling apart you know they pop up and fall apart. What were they claiming for the south uh, these states that we would be getting rain for five to seven days. Doesn't look like these storms are holding very well. Oh, but don't worry. They may create more. North Texas, Central Texas, you are really getting it bad. But of course the Texas Triangle is only the, you know, Dallas, Austin, Houston area. So all of the other areas of Texas, they want you out. Kansas, Oklahoma, Arkansas. Please, all of you, weigh in, tell us what's happening. Um, look, we're going to get ours. But I'm so sorry that all of you are having to deal. I, even if your home is not flooded out and your area is okay, to deal with rain that just is nonstop that has an impact on everyone. How you feel physically, emotionally, mentally. Um, the impact of all of this is really widespread. All links are below.